<laughs> you ruined the whole thing. You didn't scroll down. Yeah. Sorry. What is wrong with you? Good morning, Lincoln County Panthers. This is Mark Ice, your driver's ed teacher. Just want to give you a few pointers on parking here at the high school. As you know, this year you have to pay $35 for your parking permit, and if you park illegally, you will be ticketed. If you park illegally a second time, you will be booted, as we are showing here. We have the, the process and the means, and we don't want to do this to you. So we want you to drive legally. We want you to uh, do what you're supposed to do, and we don't want to have to involve the law. My name is Lindsay Trelakowski, and this is my mom, Brooke. A little over 14 months ago, she was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer and was given 0% chance of survival. However, she never stopped fighting, and as of her latest scan, she is now cancer free. The cheerleaders would like to invite you to join the battle against breast cancer by wearing pink every Wednesday in the month of October. Because sometimes you have to be a mean girl when your opponent is breast cancer. Panthers out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday, October 1st. I'm Josh. And I'm Katie. And it's time for your morning announcements. Any senior who did not get to apply Monday for Marshall University's free application day can still apply for free in the counselor's office through this Thursday, October 4th. Anyone going on the Australia trip needs to see Miss <laughs> McComas. Okay. Ms. McComas, as soon as possible to pick up their Krispy Kreme fundraiser information. Students going on the rewards trip this Friday must return permission forms to their homeroom teacher by tomorrow, October 2nd, in order to go. Late forms will not be accepted. Anyone interested in running for Mr. or Miss Panther or class attendant needs to pick up an application from Ms. Porter. The applications are due back to Ms. Porter by this Friday. There will be a blood drive tomorrow, and if you've signed up to be a donor, there are a few things you need to know in order to prepare. Dot, dot, dot. We're here with Judith and Sarah, and today we're going to talk to you about the things that you should do to prepare for the blood drive. Um, you need to have eight hours of sleep the night before so you'll be rested up, and you need to drink a lot of water so you'll stay hydrated. You need to wear loose clothing so you'll be comfortable and eat a good breakfast. Why would it be important for you to wear loose clothes? So you can be comfortable. And you need to bring a photo ID. <laughs> and you <laughs> and you will be given an appointment card today at lunch. What is the importance of the appointment card? To get you out of class and to remind you what time you need to show up. Be sure to get your appointment cards and donate your blood. <laughs> Speaking of blood, are you interested in going to the extreme for Halloween? Do you spend an extraordinary amount of time planning our Halloween costume? If so, Mr. Barton is ordering stage, ma stage makeup from Magic Makers in Huntington and has been gracious enough to open it up for anyone. Student teachers are students to add on to his order. Does it cost any money? Yeah. Okay. If this is something that you're interested in, see Miss Barton soon Mr. and get your order. Mr. Barton. I caught him misses. There will be a meeting for the Bits and Bridles 4-H Horse Club after school w this Wednesday, and everyone is welcome. For more information about attending, see Miss Walker in room 1035. Teachers are reminded to get, our, get their club information into Dr. Dorsey as soon as possible. There should be a bulletin board up in the main hallway by the end of the week with clubs details for students. The Brome Committee is organizing now and will meet on club days. It is open to juniors and seniors only. See Mrs. Baker for more details. FCA Marshall Game Day will be on October 27th. The price for this event is $30. Permission slips are available in Mr. Ice's room. So what are we doing today? Uh, we are going uh, driving with our second period driving group today. Are, are we good to go? I think we're good. You are you sure? I'm positive. So when, uh, when we're driving, what are some of the things that you look for in your drivers? Well, first thing they're told, if they break the law, they lose a letter grade. So make sure you come to complete stops. Make sure you use your turn signals. Can't break the speed limit, even though a lot of times the police will give you more than five miles an hour, they don't have to. And they, if you're going 36 and 35, they can give you a ticket. That's true, that is true. And that shift in weight's what the police will look for to make sure you've come to a complete stop. We always see these signs that say, uh, 15 miles an hour in a school zone, when children are present. When are children present? 
Well, we asked the police that because we had the same question. Does it mean when they're visible outside or present in the school building? And they said, at least in Lincoln County, they go with present in the school building and the judge will prosecute uh, based on that. So we figured it better be safe, you know. If it's a Monday through Friday, 8 to 3, better slow down. So how was your driving experience today? It was pretty good, a little rainy. Any, any, any bit nerve wracking today? Mm, not really. Uh, not even with the camera pointed in your face? Mm, nah. That's it for the news today. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Alright Panthers, don't forget to check us out on our YouTube page or tweet at us at LCHS Pride. Remember, don't use your cell phone during a school day. That's the other student in the trunk. They didn't do their homework assignment so they have to ride back there this week. We forgot to let them out last night though so they're probably a little hungry. Gum. <laughs> Already chewed gum or fresh yep. gum? Already chewed gum. Here's some gum, but it has no flavor to it.